If you are considering to move to Canada in 2024, I got you. These are my essential tips for you to keep in mind before you make that journey. Hey guys, Mara here. I'm a Nigerian who is currently doing my master's degree in Canada. I love to make lifestyle content. I also throw immigration tips here and there, and I make self-improvement video. And that is why these tips are not just going to be your conventional tips or things that you probably hear people talk about a lot, the things that you should get ready for when you're coming to Canada. This list is a bit unconventional. I think it's something that people don't talk about. And so I am really inspired to share things like this because I believe that moving abroad, you know, is just beyond packing and just the excitement of moving to a new country. There are so many other things that I feel like people are not paying attention to or people are not considering. If you want to find out what those are, definitely keep watching. If you end up enjoying this video, please give it a like and also subscribe to this channel because it makes me happy so without further ado let's get right into the video To make this video a bit more fun for your watching experience let's go ahead and install these beautiful units that i have from irresistible me hair i am obsessed this hair is so soft and so beautiful irresistible me hair is a premium hair brand that have operated for over 13 years this alone lets you know that they don't do basic okay i absolutely love this hair thank you so much irresistible me hair for sending this hair to me i'm going to leave the link to the website and this hair and every other detail you guys are gonna need in the description box i also have a discount code because i always bring that to you guys i'll put it on the screen and also in the description box just in case you want to check out this hair or any other hair from irresistible me hair so let's go ahead and install this wig while i share these essential things with you guys the first on my list would be god honestly if you're planning to move abroad hold god tight I mean, I preach God. I want you to hold God tight at every, you know, phase of your life because he's really all we've got. Like, I don't know about you, but he's really all I've got. Okay. And then the most challenging thing about abroad is that sometimes we are leaving our families behind. It is just you. And at that point, it just becomes you. Like, it's just you and your God. So I would really advise you to deepen your fellowship, deepen your love, deepen your relationship with God before you even think of moving abroad and like i said earlier this is not me saying do not have a personal relationship with god when you're back home but honestly building a strong personal relationship with god is something that's going to see you through a lot of times like a lot of trying times when you eventually move to a new country and in this case canada i just want to put it out there again 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 make sure you have a strong relationship with god because there's going to be a lot of trying times here and god is just going to be that your source and this brings me to my second point which is patience you guys if you plan to move to canada or to move to any other country in the world abroad really honestly you have to be patient with yourself you have to be patient with the process of the process i mean the process of you know getting the life that you dreamt of before embarking on the journey because i tell you everything is not going to be rosy immediately you land the your new country you land canada things are not just going to get rosy immediately it will take time and you require patience to be able to even wait onto those blessings canada is a place that have you know structures in place and you have to follow the system and the structure to reap the fruit things do not just happen like you plan you follow through so you have to be patient with yourself and the process do not think that you're just going to achieve everything immediately you get here okay it takes a while but i guarantee you with patience with god you are just a step away from the things that you have dreamt for yourself and this brings me to my third point which is hard working i know you might have heard this a lot of times from other creators or even myself you have to be hard working if you intend to live in canada not just hard working you have to be someone that is self-determined you have to be someone that is self-motivated you do not need to be that person that people push you know to succeed you just have to be the one pushing yourself because 
I'm assuming you might be moving here as a student, moving alone, you or you're moving as a permanent resident or work, you know, visa. You might not really be with your family and the people that you think would encourage you. So you have to be able to push yourself. You have to be able to work hard because you are going to be multitasking. You're going to be going to school if you're a student. If you're working, you're going to be working and doing so many other things on the side because this country is not for the lazy man. I say this to correct the misconceptions that some people have. Most people back home think that here like things come easy my love it doesn't come easy so you have to be hard working you have to be really determined to really make it and make something out of your life if you want to succeed in canada i cannot you know overemphasize how important it is for you to be self-motivated for you to be a hard working person because i guarantee you if you don't push yourself here nobody's gonna push you and the system that is already set in place for you if you don't push yourself and work hard to achieve things out of that system you're not gonna achieve it oh my god you guys getting this hair installed was not as easy as i thought because it's a blonde wig obviously and this would be my first time actually you know doing something this intense or detailed or whatever for my wig but i absolutely love how this wig turned out on me and trust me blonde is my thing i would kill it wear it anytime any day because it looks so good on me and thank you again irresistible me hair for sending me this hair and you guys all the details you need would be in the description box one thing i was guilty of when i moved to canada was also like not preparing my cv so this brings me to my next point guys prepare your cv from back home before you move to canada and the tips that i'm going to give you guys here would be to search for jobs that fit into your field let's say for instance you are a data analyst back home or a business analyst and you want to still pursue that career when you move to canada one of the smart moves to take would be to search for jobs in canada business analyst roles in canada when you see those jobs read through the description sometimes employers do list the skills or the courses or the training or whatever that they require someone occupying that position to have so that gives you an insight just in case you have to take those certifications just in case you don't have them so you begin to think to, along that line if you're able to take them before you land Canada perfect if you're not able at least you understand what is in demand in the field and also the country that you're moving to the certifications that they look out for for certain jobs there are a bunch of CV templates what Canadian CVs look like online so make use of those resources online there are a bunch of them okay i sourced for them myself at some point and i saw a lot you would be doing yourself a huge favor if you're able to do some of those research and really work on your cv and your resume before you actually move because i know that once people move here one of the first things that most people tend to you know want to do would be to get a job right so that you do you're not coming here and you're starting the process that you should have done before you land here i know that this thing is not part of the things that people tend to take serious when they are moving but trust me it is very very important that you look at your cv because you don't want to be here for months without a job you want to you know prepare yourself at least while you leave the rest to god another thing is that if you're not someone that is very law abiding you're not going to survive in canada especially in workplaces canada is a place that is structured to be at least to be very inclusive from what i've experienced is a place that you know there is law or there, there are rules and you are expected to like abide by those rules so if you're not someone that is conscious of understanding the policy the culture of a workplace of an institution or any place that you're going to find yourself in canada believe me you're going to have issues and those issues might not just be social issues or some issues that you might just get by you might actually land yourself in legal troubles okay so make sure that you are law abiding tweak your mentality to understand that you are now moving to somewhere where laws are made because they're expected to abide by them not because you know they are made for just the sole purpose of just having them as law in quotes but they are made because they should be followed they should be respected and they should be seen some organizations might have cultures like gentle teaching may might have no fragrance rule 
this might not be the entire culture of the organization but this might be a section or part of their culture like this is just what they don't accept and if they say no fragrance and you're the type that you just have coconut head no they hear what you want to always wear fragrances i'm telling you you're going to land yourself in serious trouble and if they give keep giving you an informal um correction at some point you might land yourself into bigger trouble so make sure that you're thinking about these things and knowing that you're moving to a country that now you know is law abiding and you're making conscious efforts to actually understand the law and the rules in the new place that you're going to be it organization be it school be it wherever because my friend that is going to save you a lot of stress from my month living in canada i would tell you that coming to canada with little or no expectations will do you a lot of good i do not mean that you should not have expectations for your life you should not have goals for your life i just mean more like unrealistic expectation because i know that most people when they are moving to the western countries we always sorry i'm going to always use we that does not mean that it applies to everybody i am just kind of like trying to talk about my nigerian people and my some of my african people and some of my nigerian people you know you know what i mean right so sometimes when we are moving to the western world we always tend to have a lot of made up unrealistic expectation in our head that it's like heaven i would tell you to come with little or no expectation because you get why when the reality hits you here if you have crazy expectations and you're not the type that you know you are able to handle your emotions to marry your reality with your expectation you might you know get yourself in a situation where you start feeling a lot of mental breakdown you might start feeling so many feelings mentally that would have been avoided if you had little or no expectation some of these things are also things that i feel like you will encounter more in your beginning phase as you continue to live in canada you would definitely get used to the culture get used to the environment so some of these things will no longer be a problem for you but i emphasize and stretch on these for people that are still very new in canada or people that are planning to move to canada considering to move to canada these are the people that i'm saying this thing to because i struggled with some of this myself the reality hitting you is quite different from those expectations so just have little or no expectations again when you watch people share their experiences trust me they are just sharing what they've been through and i'm not gonna come here and, and say that oh my journey has been entirely bad no because i've had my share a uh, fair share of success here like in such a short time so trust me you can achieve this is not to say don't have big goals you can achieve whatever you put your heart in but also not having crazy expectations about things here would really save you a lot of stress because even some of the things that i ended up achieving here i didn't really see them coming when i bought my car i i didn't think that i would buy a car when i was like in my first seven months in canada i thought that i would buy a car when i had graduated so i didn't have that in my head but it came right and i embraced it and i see it as a blessing this is just an example there are so many things for jobs settling just like building relationships there are so many things i feel like don't have crazy expectations it's about if you're intending to move to canada just have minimal or no expectation so that when good things happen for you it will be like you just soak it in and you'll be really grateful for that if you're considering to move to canada in 2024 you must be the type that enjoy your own company okay because i can't stretch like i cannot really exhaust how deep or how important it is to have this particular conversation if you don't enjoy your company you are going to run crazy here because everybody is busy even your friends would not always be there for you so you might not always have the community of people that you run back to like we do have it in nigeria or in africa where we have like friends people will always be available you have a rich and wide community of people i mean when you are just fresh here you would not even have that much people in your corner it would take you a while to build friendship it took me a while to build like some network with people and i'm still building i don't even feel like i have friends like that right so it will take you a while so 
learning to enjoy your company when you are still back home before you move to this country would do you a lot of good again i've talked about this particular point in most of my videos or at least a couple of my videos learn how to drive before you move to canada i am going to reiterate how important it is for you to learn how to drive driving is an essential here okay i don't know how to explain the transportation system especially if you're not moving to a very big city where the transportation system is good i stay in regina saskatchewan and transportation here is not the best it's not the worst but it's also not the best sometimes you need to get somewhere but you can't because you have to work with the bus schedule and it's not always pleasant especially if you're combining jobs so sometimes people just tend to buy cars almost immediately so my advice is learn how to drive get a driver's license if you are considering moving here at all in the next one year two years now is the best time to start learning how to drive so you can get your driver's license because if you have a driver's license from back home like if you come with it okay it's kind of like take some steps that you would take in getting your canadian driver's license off i don't know how to explain that but let's say that you're going to take seven steps in getting the driver's license it might end up being four all right it just makes it a lot easier okay it's not like you're going to take seven steps to get a driver's license in canada but i'm just giving you guys an instance just so you know how much learning how to drive and actually having a driver's license when you're moving here would save you if you've driven in nigeria for a while if you can get your driver's abstract or driving abstract or whatever they call it please get it because at some point it might be useful to you for my folks that are already in canada please drop in the comment section some of the things that you feel like you would tell someone that is considering to move to canada because i know that some people might go to, to the comments to read the comments okay so just drop some things some gems you know what i mean <laughs> because i know that everybody that is living in canada definitely has good advice at least from their experiences to share with people that are intending to move here so please do well to leave them in the comment section so that other people that are intending to move here can read and just be prepared because why I make this type of videos is just like to tell you people that I'm not trying to bash being living in Canada it's a very good country for so many reasons that I don't even want to get into but also coming here prepared like just saves you a lot and just also makes the process of settling down and figuring out your life here really easy okay like I already said all the details you guys would need for this hair and the brand would be in my description box okay so thank you guys so much again for watching and i'll see you guys when in my next video bye